Calculate an approximate 2.25 to the power of 2.25. Hmm, how shall we do it? Now, firstly, I dislike decimal numbers, so let's write them as fractions. 2.25 is 2 plus 1 fourth, so it's 9 over 4 to the power of 9 over 4. Very good. Then, what I'm going to do is to have a look at our base. 9 over 4. You can see that 9 is 3 squared and 4 is 2 squared. So we can write 9 fourth as 3 over 2 all squared and then to the power of 9 over 4. Very good. And then what I'm going to do is to multiply this 2 and 9 over 4 together. So it's going to be 3 over 2 to the power of 9 over 2. Just remember the formula a to the power of b, then all to the power of c equals a to the power of b times c. If you can understand this formula, this step is easy. And then, I'm willing to write this 9 over 2, this exponent, as a sum of an integer and a fraction. It is 4 plus 1 over 2. a to the power of b plus c equals a to the power of b times a to the power of c. So it implies that we can write this one just as a product of 3 over 2 to the power of 4 and 3 over 2 to the power of 1 half. Now, 3 to the power of 4 over 2 to the power of 4 is our this one. It's 81 over 16. And then times a number to the power of 1 half is just the square root of this number. Isn't it? So now what I'm going to do is to multiply this one by square root 2 over square root 2, which is 1. Because then at least we can get rid of the square root on the denominator. And it is also called the rationalization of denominators. It is 81 times square root of 3 times square root of 2 is square root of 6 over 16 times square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 16 times 2 is 32. And this is our final answer. However, if you want to approximate this one, it's not hard. The square root of a positive integer can always approximate it by using a continued fraction. And there it is. Now, for any positive integer s, we write s as a squared plus b, where a squared is much greater than b, and they're both positive integers. So a squared should be the closest perfect square to s, which is smaller than s. And now, it's approximately equal to a plus b over 2a plus b over 2a plus There are infinity of fractional lines. And yes, we can use this method to approximate square root of 6 because it's the only number with a square root. Just use this method and just take four or five fractional lines. It's not difficult. And you can get that square root of 6 is approximately equal to 2.45. Of course, you can also figure out the approximation of 81 over 32 by using long division. And yeah, then multiply 
these two guys together, then you end up with a decimal number approximately equal to 6.1985. So that means it is approximately equal to 6.2. Press 2.25 to the power of 2.25 on your calculator, and it's going to tell you that our approximation is very great. Find out yourself. Now we're finished with this complicated no, with this easy approximation. Do you get it? Do you get the method? Do you get the trick? Subscribe to me for more wonderful questions, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.